guys welcome back to my channel again welcome if you're new please subscribe to my channel if you're new so we're back again with brother-in-law Humberto huh <laughs> hey everybody <laughs> Humberto otherwise known or better known as Hank either one works Hank. <laughs> either one works I've had yeah. the nickname for 45 46 years so either Hank or Humberto whichever works for you guys. <laughs> whatever you can call them anything you want just don't call me late for dinner. He's used to it. Prapch. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so we got a request. Yes, we got a request for some uh, George Thorogood and the Delaware Destroyers. Eventually, they just shortened it to George Thorogood and the Destroyers. And he's one of these great blues rock guitarists and boogie blues, they call it. And he's just, you know, a great, great, uh, one of these great musicians, also with mm -hmm. a lot of. A lot of music, a lot of uh, a lot of hits. So you know, I said, you know what, let's do it. So yeah, <laughs> she's never heard of them. I know. To the surprise of no one out there, right, I guys? I've never heard of his name. So good. You know, um, does he sing any like you know? You know the song "Bad to the Bone." Yeah. Da 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 da. Ta 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 ta. Yep. Oh but my God. Bad to the bone. See, I know songs and I just don't know these He knows songs. that. He, you know that song? He's got another oh, song, I Drink yeah. Alone, which is a great song. Uh, you probably heard that as well. And that's, my, the, that's my song, I Drink Alone. <laughs> <laughs> the previous... No, I only drink when you're here and when we're doing videos. Otherwise, if you look at my, my videos, I don't have any drinks in my hand. She drinks alone. The previous video <laughs> we did UB40 and then she was puffing the ganja. So I don't know what this woman is doing when she's by herself. People. I don't, I don't remember know. remember any concert. Now you, that's, that's why you don't remember anything. Oh now God. we know. So now oh you know why she's so happy and tired all the time and hungry. I know, right? <laughs> and stuff. So anyway, anyway, so we're going to do, which for you would be excellent, then another drinking song called one bourbon, one Excellent. scotch, one beer, and uh, I've bourbon. Hmm? Scotch I've had, okay. and beer I'm mm -hmm. not into. Yeah, I've had all three of those at one time. No, no, at some point in my life, <laughs> not, not, never one right after the other. Not like what George does at in the, the uh, same night. <laughs> not like what George does in the song. So uh, okay, this you know, is but be it's an it's interesting a, listen, song. It's a very interesting song. Okay, it is from 1984. Uh, yeah, well, no, actually, yeah, the song was released in this uh, from his debut oh, album okay. in 1977. But so. the video itself is 1984. Yeah, 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 yeah. At Capitol yeah. Theater. That was uh, that was kind of like the height. You came out like what 77 was the mm -hmm. first album, late 70s, mostly of the 80s, early 80s, mid 80s. He was still big, and then like okay. in the 90s, sort of kind of. I don't want to say disappeared, but he wasn't as making as much music anymore. I don't think. And, mm. But I, I think he's still around. He's still making making music now. But uh, late seventies and up to mid eighties was you know his heyday, I guess, when he was coming out with all, all right. this stuff and he was very. It's a big. long song, ten minutes. It is a long song. It's a story. Uh, well, it's it's actually a remake of an old Amos Milburn song who was mm -hmm. a rhythm and blues guy from the 40s and 50s and then John Lee Hooker who is one of the great great uh, blues singers you know we've had uh, he, he uh, made a copy of it in 66 kind of changed it around and then George sort of took that and made it into his version oh, of it okay. so he's doing a copy of a copy oh, okay. of the song and kind of made it his way and it's, it's an interesting story about the song you'll, you'll hear the lyrics it's pretty. Uh, it's a pretty cool story, and you'll see why poor guy has to drink one bourbon, one scotch, <laughs> and one beer. So you, you'll God. see it. So this uh, is like a true story, kind of. I, no, but I mean, it could happen. Way, I mean, listen, the, the, blues the, you know, the blues are all about you know the blues are all about bad stuff that. happening, and okay. you know how do people cope with it? Boom, you know. Oh my God. And the other one, he drinks alone. This one, I don't know if he's no drinking alone. No wine in there. <laughs> oh yeah, wine right here. There's plenty of songs about wine. Why? Anyway, let's uh, get to it. Let's get to it. His George Thorogood. I believe it was Lady Jane. I think named Jane who requested it. This is for for Jane and for everybody else. Yep. Let's rock. Let's and, get uh, to it. Let's do it. Yeah, it just starts off like. It's what they call boogie blues. 
Are you with me? Yeah, here's to George. We were playing in Philadelphia last night for the July night. After the show, a lot of people from Philly said, uh, where are you going, uh, Lonesome George and your band? I said, we're going over to Jersey to have a ball, you know. And they said, uh, I don't think they can party as good in Jersey as they do in Philly. What do you think? <laughs> are you ready to party tonight? Then I want to tell you a story all about the Houseman Blues. I come home on Friday. My lady didn't say no. She looked up for some housework, you know. She said, um, you get the house money yet? I said, no. She said, you better get the red money by next Friday. The next Friday went, and out the door I went. I have the red for you tomorrow, the next day I don't know. So just let me slide it on, you know, peoples. I notice when I come home in the evening, she ain't got nothing nice to say to me. I'll give me one particular evening. She said, you got the red money yet? I said, no. I can't find no job. I'm gonna get someone to pay this rent. She said, I don't need you trying to find no job. So now she knew today was standing on the corner, leaning up against a post. I said, but I'm tired. I've been walking all day. She said, that don't confront me as long as I get my rent money by next Friday. Now you know next Friday coming, I couldn't get the rent. Thank you. <laughs> and I have to go over. <laughs> so go to the little lady. I think you, 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 you let me slide, I have the rent for it tomorrow the next day. She hollered about some back rent. <laughs> she ain't gonna get none of it. <laughs> so I go in my room. I'll pack up my John Lee Hooker record collection. <laughs> and out the door I go. I go down the streets, I stop down to the uh, Wednesday night jamboree and hootin' it. Thursday night jamboree and hootin' it. Every night in Jersey is a jamboree and hoot it. <laughs> I go down to the bar, see my bartender. I said, look at him, man. Come on down here. He got down there. So what you want? One bourbon, one scotch, one beer. No, I ain't seen my baby since I don't know when. Mr. Bartender, set so, 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 him up again. Wanna get high, you know I got to get loose Give me a triple shot of that New Jersey juice When I get drunk, don't you have no fear I want one bourbon, one scotch and a beer One bourbon, one scotch, one beer Are you ready to boogie? I want you to put your hands together Welcome an old friend of mine The world's baddest boogie guitar player and a good friend of mine from Tulsa, Oklahoma, Elvin Bad Boy Vision. Ah, he has overall on. Yeah. Then I'll sit down at the bar, getting drunk, I'm knocked out, feeling good, feeling groovy, drinking bourbon, scotch, and beer. Miller High Life, champagne or bottled beer. <laughs> Schaefer when you're having more than one. <laughs> I remember that. And the king of beers when you really want to have fun. I look down the bar for my, 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 my bartender. We're just jamming. 
in Jersey never closed, so. <laughs> he got down to the end of the bar. So what's what this time? 
That's what time is it? He said the clock on the wall said three o'clock. Last call for alcohol. He said, what you want? I want bourbon. My baby since almost a week Need to drink so bad, man, I can't even speak Wanna get high, man, listen to me One drink ain't enough, man, you better bring three When I get drunk, I wanna make it real clear I want I want bourbon, one shot, I want beer Fun that's fun. Moment. Yeah, yeah. Funny. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. I mean, that's the it's house rent boogie. You know, he's getting kicked out because he doesn't have to rent. And every day he comes home and the lady's like, where's my rent? I don't have it. Maybe tomorrow, maybe Friday. So but I feel like he's making up some words along the way. He did. I mean, he, right? he did. Oh, For he example, added something in. Yeah, I mean, and, and you know, he played to the crowd in New Jersey yeah. and he uh, changed it around to talk I about like them. Yeah. And I mean, he's really, really into the blues. You know, he mentions Johnny Lee Hooker, who mm -hmm. is, you know, visually he got part of the song from, uh, who's in Muddy Waters, he mentions. He was also one of those great all time blues. And I think B.B. King, I forgot, he mentioned a couple more. He did mention B.B. King. Right, B.B. King. Yeah. So, you know, it's just all these are all these great blues artists. Um, when, he, when he started, he was actually, it was, he, he was more like a one man act with him and his guitar, mm -hmm. acoustic guitar, to do those what they call the Delta Blues, you know, from the 30s and 40s. And that's basically what it's gonna do, just be a, a blues, a, a solo blues artist. And then that's eventually, fun. you know, oh you get gosh. into this, but no, he's, he's... I like it. I like because you get the story and it's funny and it's, yeah, you know... keeps you going. And then that guitarist, that, he looks like a truck driver. Well, that's Elvin Bishop. Elvin Bishop also had a couple of hits, you know that... Um, Elvin Bishop, he did that song, I fooled around and fell in Is love. He did that and he did that. Um, no. He did that. Down I in Jamaica, know. they got oh, lots of pretty women. Yeah, that's, I mean, he had, you know, a bunch of other I like songs. That song. Those were the I songs know. that you would recognize from Elvin Bishop. So when he said that at first, it was Is Elvin that Bishop. Him? Yeah, oh no, that's gosh. Elvin Bishop. That's I thought he was a truck driver. <laughs> maybe he isn't. He's dressed so, like a truck maybe driver. Maybe he's a part-time truck driver. I don't he know. He had I mean, the hat and the overall. Yeah, well, he like says, I think he was from Tulsa, Oklahoma, I think he says. Okay, so he was yeah. dressing the part, I guess. Yeah. But uh, no, it was, it was a great, uh, yeah, great song. And yeah, that it was, was a fun. Good. I like it. I, I really never seen the video, so I didn't, know, you know, I didn't know that uh, Elvin Bishop was in here. You know, it was the first time I seen this particular you know, I see another video of him, of course, but this particular one I hadn't seen, so I was but very surprised. But this is like a kind of song where you have to see it live. Yeah, 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 You know of what course. I mean? Yeah, yeah. it looks, I mean, yeah. it's just a lot of fun. And I'm sure the people that were there, they, they were They really were enjoying it. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my so, God. no, he's, he's, he's a great, great performer. He was actually in Live Aid also. Was he? Yeah, he was in Live Aid oh, okay. in Philadelphia. You know, oh, uh, yeah, he, he oh, was, really? uh, I was okay. being, yeah, on this side, uh, Philly, he did. And he's also, you know, another interesting fact about this guy, he's a really, really big baseball fan. Actually, I love him because he's a Met fan, and I'm a Met fan from New York, so we have that in common. He played semi-professional. Uh, he was a baseball second player? baseball player. He was a oh. second baseman, I believe. And I remember For reading what that... Team? I don't know. I don't know which okay. organization, but, but it was uh, semi-pro. Semi oh. And I remember okay. reading that the initial the band that they were called the Delaware Destroyers. You know, so it was right. George Thorogood but and the Delaware Destroyers. But then it was too long so they just showed it to George Thorogood and the Destroyers. Mm -hmm. But initially the whole band was exactly nine people because that's how many people are on a baseball team. So oh, that you know they can go and play like softball or whatever okay, it was. So yeah, yeah so he's yeah. a big he's a big uh, baseball fanatic yeah. this guy. Oh, okay, and that's you know cool. the fact that he's a Met fan you know, I love George even more because there's not many of us these days, but you know, we're, we're there. So anyway, so that's, that's cool. Yeah, it's a great, fun song, you know? It is a yeah. fun song. I thought it was, I mean, oh my God, it makes me want to do comedy or something. <laughs> He, 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 he sounds like a guy that could do comedy. Right. Because you know, it's like That's so natural. It was just, yeah. Even the lyrics. I mean, you know, the, I drink alone also. Talk, you know, I drink alone with nobody else. When I drink, I prefer to be by myself. Yeah. Uh, the, the bad to the bone, you know, also has some, you know, not when we say funny lyrics, but, you know, just different, you know, entertaining kind of oh thing. You're God. listening to the words. I gotta check out that song. 
Yeah, yeah, maybe you can yeah. you can do that too. I mean, that one you know, that everybody knows that song. That's like his yeah. you know biggest biggest hit. Mm. But he's got another Madison Blues is another one. There's also a remake, uh, another you know great great song. He, he's got a list. He's got a list of uh, wow. you know sort of in, in this style. You know um, what they call the um, sort of boogie blues. You know you saw that kind of. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway. I know the song is 10 minutes long. I mean, you want it to go longer because it's the <laughs> way that... The story yeah, that Yeah, because telling you. it was such a fun right. and funny, uh, you know. And yeah. I'm like, oh the actual God. studio version, I think, is about eight minutes and change. Oh. So obviously he added a little bit he here. He added some stuff yeah. in there. Yeah. And this guy, actually, what he did, and I don't know if he's the only one, but in 1981, he played 50 concerts in 50 days. So he did... each. One, each Right, oh, each state, right. I, I, yeah, each one kind, of, each of the states, you know, all in 50 days. You know, they will fly here, they flew like Alaska one day, did the show, That's flew back, right. and they went to Hawaii, oh, flew, you know, that kind of thing. Okay. And then they just did 50 shows 50 in 50 state? days in the 50 it's states. Oh my yeah. god, that's so I mean, great. that's I don't know if anybody else has done that, but it's a crazy. Uh, yeah, yeah they, for a while they were, they were you know, touring I all over. Hell, but yeah, oh yeah, god. but that was that yeah. was the thing. So like I said, back in those in know. the 80s, they they were very. Um, very, very big for a while. Mm. So I've always, always liked this guy. So. All right. Well, hope you guys like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. It it's was kind of, fun. I know it's got to be some George Thorogood sure. fans out there. Uh, absolutely. Who is not? I mean, come on. I mean, I think you not enjoy first that. Time I, I mean, I, would, I enjoy <laughs> that movie because I love that. You know funny and you know yeah the storytelling I mean, and then yeah. the great guitar playing i and mean mus really good. musically the band is really oh they're on God. you know they're, they're really tight so absolutely all right. all right well thank you for hanging up with us and um that was a great request though yeah it was absolutely for, um, jane yeah okay. keep them coming keep yep. them coming i mean we'll keep playing them i'm I'm enjoying them, so I see it too. Uh, yeah. Obviously, so it's, like, a, it's a good thing. I was like, oh my god, it's ten minutes. I have to sit to ten minutes. If I don't like it, I'm like, oh. But no, it was really good. I wish it was longer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, and leave your comment below, and stay, stay safe. safe. Absolutely, stay safe. Bye, guys. See you next time. Bye.